Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Roy, what's up, man? Thanks for coming on the show. What's going on with you? Oh, just rocking and rolling. Uh, my weekend, I didn't do anything that special because here in Iowa, it's still cold. Oh, I mean, really? it rained yeah, all Saturday. Yeah. It must have been today. It must have been 90 here. It felt like oh, it was, yeah. We almost we got to like 59 degrees. It's, oh, it was summertime. It was interesting. Yeah, people were, were in the little subdivision I live in. People were starting to come out. You know, like like gophers or groundhogs. Yeah. People were kind of moving up and down <laughs> the street. Have, did they have Did they have shorts on? I uh, most of them, in fact, did have shorts. I mean, in Iowa, if it gets north of 45, put, folks put on shorts and flip flops. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it was interesting. To, it was. It's the first time. And people had this reaction, like, what's that big yellow thing in the sky? Oh, my God. <laughs> right. So, uh, uh, other, any other weekend thing would be uh, my son and I were building his first official AR. Oh, nice. And oh, so cool. we were uh, making parts list and trying to accumulate the various pieces, parts, and tools, and pin punches and whatnot. Oh, okay. Awesome. Very good. So did, he, did you guys go into the store or... Uh, actually, I did make one trip into the store and then uh, realized I forgot to buy a couple other pieces, parts I thought I had, and then it wound up we didn't have. So I had to go back. Uh, I'll have to go back again tomorrow. Oh. But yeah, the store has, has been pretty busy. The retail store, of course, Brownells has a retail store, 7,000 square foot store attached to the main building. Mm-hmm. And that place, that, that there's been a lot of folks buying guns. Yeah. A lot of folks. <laughs> yeah. So the store is open all weekend or just Saturday? Uh, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, the, the hours change sometimes. You'll have to check our website to see exactly when the hours are. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, it's still open, still still going, especially with. Uh, ooh, what was that? I don't know. Oh, sorry. Sorry, that's oh, me. That's Walter. Walter's working yeah. on something over there. Sounds, yes. sounds like you're, uh, you're you're grinding a broad yeah. axe. Yeah, it, it, it was actually Black grinding on the grinding on the back of a truck we bought. Actually. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You know, they say all you need for a reality show is sparks. sparks. If you've got sparks, then you've got a, like you can make a reality show. Yeah. Like, There's uh, this thing called the mute button, Walter. <laughs> I'm <phone>. sorry. <laughs> Forgive me, Father. For I've sinned. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, wait, anyway, if, uh, go ahead. Well, go ahead. A lot, uh, lot, of, lot of folks buying guns. Uh, as far as what's going on at Brownells, uh, bigger than retail store in our mm-hmm. warehouse facility, our ammo supplies have been hit very, very hard over about the last week, week and a half. We, of course, have lots more ammo on order, but I'm sure if you're seeing in the news, everybody's trying to buy ammo. Um, and so the entire gun industry is, is kind of caught. Um, a little bit, I would say, a little bit flat-footed before this coronavirus thing because mm-hmm. everybody was anticipating kind of a down year for 2020 or another flat year like 2019. Mm-hmm. And then this thing hit, and everybody in the world wants ammo, 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 ammo. So all the companies are trying to ramp back up and try to get production going. But uh, right now, the uh, the demand is exceeding the supply, especially in calibers like 5.56 or 9 millimeter. Okay. So you're all sold out of 5.56, 9mm. Uh, what, do you know what calibers you guys do have in stock? I, I would have to check the website because I know we, uh, for example, I had several folks ask me about the 9mm situation, and it was all gone. And then we had several thousand rounds of Aguila 9mm 124 grain show up, and that lasted like a day and a half. So I haven't shopped for 9mm on the website. The only way to really know would be to go to brownells.com and check it out. Uh, but I do know uh, 9mm was out, and then a little bit back, more back in, and then as far as I know, out again, but I haven't checked in about a day and a half. So if we've gotten another truck in with another load of, of something, there might be some. Now, okay. uh we do have some 22 uh, long rifle. We do have some rimfire ammo. That's starting to dwindle a little bit, but it's it, it was still, uh, the last time I checked about two days ago, we still had like 36 different SKUs of rimfire ammo in, in pretty good numbers. Uh, we still have quite a few guns, uh, of course, magazines, triggers, uh, pieces, parts, etc. But right now, if, if it's a popular ammo, uh, there's good chance 
556, 9 millimeter, 308, 45 ACP, there's a good chance it might have been out of stock. Now, again, the last time, I'm, I'm the weirdo. I'm the gun guy. I'm the gun nut. Uh, for example, I know we had some, uh, some a good supply of 9.3 by 62 Mauser still in. because right. <laughs> Not a lot of folks are, are demanding for that. But yeah. if it's if it's an off thing, and then last time I checked, I know we had quite a bit of like 6.5 Creedmoor still in stock too. Okay. Okay. A couple of things here. Um, shooting gallery, any gave us a couple of bucks. He says, "What's crack a lockin', everyone?" So there you go. Hey, hey, hey. Um, I, I don't know what the official, like, what's crack a lockin' answer actually is, other than you know, I don't know if there's like an actual answer. Yeah, I don't yeah. Google that. Yeah, it's like what's up. So I'm guessing like the answer is what's up. That's what we do what's in New York. Right? People say what's up. Like what's up. So there you go. So like. Yeah, mecca like a high, mecca heiny ho, or whatever. Yeah, there we go. That's, <laughs> Maybe. that's, that's a Could Hawaiian. Be. That's Hawaiian. Mecca oh. like a heiny, mecca heiny ho. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need any <laughs> licking of no licking of the heiny here. No, <laughs> no. no, no <laughs> heiny <laughs> licking that's, going. That's on. another way to spread coronavirus. I <laughs> exactly. think. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. That's how it all started. Yeah, oh. that's how it all started. <laughs> Stay uh, away from the Pacific Rim. Oh dear. <laughs> 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 Oh my goodness! I this, is gonna be, this is going to be. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, I've got a. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, Flying Rich says, "Can I uh, get that 55 gallon drum of 556? Five, do you still have those? Do you guys still have those big uh, 55 gallon drums in stock?" I would literally have to check the website. In okay. fact, I grab my phone here yeah. and try to do. That. Okay, and you said you still have 22. Um, I'm, I'm just, you know, I, I would recommend to people to get 22 if you don't have it already. Try to keep 22 because a lot of times when ammo starts running out like this, um, they stop making 22 and they make all the other things. But 22 is the most fun and the cheapest to shoot. And if you don't have it, just like, you know, if you have, if you don't have it and you have the money and the prices are good, get yourself some 22. Remember, I, I gave you that warning. Um, have you guys upped prices at all? Uh, not really, no. In, in fact, I saw a, uh, a website, man, and we're actually starting a spring sale on certain things. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing we do have some 22. I see uh, flat nose 22 LR rimfire ammo in stock. I'm seeing lots of others that were in stock like a day ago showing as out of stock. But we, as of, uh, we do have some in stock right now. I see 11 SKUs, looks like. Okay, okay. If Walter, if you or or Brickell, if you have any questions here for Roy while we're here, in in regards to the uh, to the store side of what's going on, uh, feel free to ask. The thing, I, the big question I wanted to ask you, Roy, is how yeah. how are you? Uh, I mean, I, I don't know if you're speaking officially for Brownells or not, but how how are you guys looking at the news that came out of uh, the Trump administration and Homeland Security declaring that the firearms industry um, as an essential business, yeah. Well, I, I don't know that I'm, I'm speaking officially for Brownells right at this instant on this particular subject. Mm -hmm. I know there's there's a lot of, uh, in, of, of, of optimism and encouragement because of this. Uh, because, I mean, there have been some states, in fact, I was looking at, a, at a, web, a, a headline just before I came on here. There are some states whose governors tried to shut down various mm -hmm. companies and stores and, and, and other industry-related activity. Uh, I saw where New Jersey's governor, with the threat of a lawsuit that was really bolstered by the DHS de declaration of yes. gun stores and retailers being essential businesses, backed off shutting down gun stores. Yeah. They want to shut down. They want to shut down the state's NICS system. Right, 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 right. So nobody can so buy. If they a gun shut at down all. the NICS. They shut down everything. Yeah, you can't. You, so, well, you can't yeah. buy. Well, in Jersey, you have to. Do you have to? I think you have to get a NICS check to buy ammo, right? I'm not sure. I think or, so. Does Jersey have a, a like a Floyd card like, like Illinois does too? Yeah, do. they've, they've got some kind so, of weird stuff like that going on. It went to ten percent or twenty percent on it. Mm -hmm. But um, Brownells have... has has like two thousand different companies whose stuff we sell, so we have a lot of different vendors, and some of those are in states that that aren't as restrictive, and some are in states that are more restrictive. So uh, the declaration from the DHS that that gun and associated manufacturers and retailers are essential businesses can't help but help because that yeah. means if there's a say a key supplier in a, in a restrictive state they're still going to be able to manufacture and supply and you know, mm -hmm. we're in this time of great demand so that's that's great news yeah i think it is and i think that's the reason why new jersey backed off 
and some other states are backing off. It was just an advisory. Yeah, Delaware, the, Go ahead. Yeah, Walt. Delaware backed off. Delaware was threatening stuff too, and they backed off too. Yeah, because right. that, yeah. that's that's got to help in, in a court situation. That's definitely got to help. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.